When Jadon Sancho arrived at Manchester United in 2021, he was coming off the back of an impressive season in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund. In just over 2,000 minutes, he'd picked up 8 goals and 11 assists at a rate of 0.83 goal involvements per game, which put him in the top 5th percentile. His underlying numbers were equally impressive. 0.32 expected goals per 90 and 0.3 expected assists per 90 was a good enough return to earn the youngster a £77 million move to one of the biggest clubs in the world. A season later, and Jadon Sancho's stat line makes for miserable reading. Over a similar number of minutes in the Premier League last season, he only managed three goals and three assists at a rate of 0.28 goal involvements per game, an eye-watering reduction of around 66%, which puts him outside of the top 30th percentile for that metric. Unsurprisingly, his underlying numbers had enjoyed a similar, albeit slightly smaller, decline of around 40%. Now, although this downturn is undoubtedly impacted by Sancho moving to a struggling Manchester United, it may also be an example of a curious phenomenon that occurs when players move from the Bundesliga to the Premier League, a phenomenon known more colloquially as the Bundesliga tax. Bundesliga tax refers to the drop-off that occurs when a player moves from the Bundesliga to the Premier League. In recent years, it's been offered as an explanation for the disappointing performances of Timo Werner and, to a lesser extent, Kai Havertz at Chelsea. This summer, one of the highest profile transfers into the Premier League is that of another Borussia Dortmund player, Erling Haaland, to Manchester City. And so the question is, will Haaland prove to be another victim of the Bundesliga tax? But is it a real thing? Well, although the concept of a Bundesliga tax emerged from fan discussion, professional football analysts have since spent time looking at the numbers to see if it is real. For the most part, these analyses have focused on creative output, largely because goal scoring and creation numbers are easier to track in the data. Analyst Tony L. Haber has suggested that a player moving from the Bundesliga to the Premier League can expect a drop of around 0.07 expected goals per game. Now, that might not sound like much, but in the course of a season where a player makes around 30 appearances, that adds up to a reduction in expected goals of around two. But of course, goal scoring numbers aren't everything. Many analysts use what are called possession value models to assess the way that all of a player's on ball actions impact the game. Using one of these models, El Haber estimates that Bundesliga players will experience a 17% decrease in their output after a move into the Premier League. So, as far as the numbers are concerned, the Bundesliga tax does seem to exist. However, it is worth noting that El Haber's research also shows that similar taxes exist for players moving to the Premier League from Portugal, Italy, France and Spain, suggesting that instead of singling out the Bundesliga, maybe the tax should in fact be called a Premier League tax. Now, this also shows up anecdotally if you look at the 10 most expensive imports into the Premier League from the big five European leagues players like Romelu Lukaku, Paul Pogba and Nicola Pepe. With the exception of Kevin De Bruyne and Erling Haaland, who we're yet to see play in the league, it would be hard to argue that any of these signings really lived up to their expectations. So you see, it's not just Bundesliga players who struggle to accommodate themselves in the Premier League, it's players from all across the big five leagues. But how do we account for those players like De Bruyne who successfully make the switch? Well, in his final season at Wolfsburg, De Bruyne put up 0.89 goal involvements per game. Although this figure did decline in his first season at Manchester City, he's also had seasons since at the club where his goal involvements per game have been higher than his best season at Wolfsburg. For instance, this season, his goal involvements per game were up at 0.94. Unlike Jadon Sancho, though, De Bruyne was moving to a very successful side in Manchester City. It's clear that in some instances then, the strength of the team that the player is moving to can cancel out the tax. And there are of course other factors to consider too. If you're bringing in young players, for example, you might expect their output to increase naturally as they develop. This also might work towards reducing the impact of a Bundesliga tax. So, in the case of Erling Haaland, he's joining the same team that De Bruyne excelled in and is young enough that we might expect him to improve as he approaches his peak years. And crucially, he's performed well in Europe against non-Bundesliga teams. This gives potential suitors confidence that a player is ready and able to make that jump. For Erling Haaland then, Manchester City will hope that this means he's more of a De Bruyne than a Sancho. 
If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence, and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.